everyone. Um, so today I wanted to just do a quick recording and I wanted to, um, I guess just further discuss some of the things that were brought up in, on Nikki's live stream last night. Um, I'm only going to be discussing about the topics in which I was involved in the discussion, whether it be involved from the live stream chat or involved from the panel. Um, because I feel like I can, because I have a right to, I was part of it, and I want to just fully explain where anything that I had said, just because I like I like it to be out there. So people have something to access should they want to know more, or, or so should they have something wrong. So to start with, I'm going to be discussing the whole NSS, Cheshire, and Steve um, debate, fight, whatever you want to call it. Now, first and foremost, I want to make this very, very perfectly clear. <sighs> There's a difference between the legality of the matter and the personal personality of the matter, the personal of the matter. Um, and I've said this much to Steve in the very beginning when this whole thing started, like in the beginning of the year. I think that I think Steve made a mistake when you consider the personal personality of the matter, like they were friends they were both friends i think they both let the friendship go and i think that was a mistake on both their parts um i just i remember asking steve in the beginning there like you sure because like this is your friend you know you, you sure that this i mean it's it's okay if it if this requires a little bit more than you would normally give if friends are worth it you know but I think maybe I didn't quite know or understand the entirety of everything that went down between the two of them. Maybe, I don't know. Um, that's the impression I got throughout our discussion anyway, so I dropped it and left it alone. But just so everyone else knows in case it's of consequence or whatever, I if, if it were me, I would have wanted myself to gone the extra effort considering it was a friendship and one that possibly could have been a, an important friendship that having said that there's that's not the legality of the matter if you're looking at what it was legally obligated of steve nothing was legally obligated of steve in my opinion and i forget i'm not a law expert i get that i do however i think that if there were some sort of legal obligation then this would have come out to be known by now this would have been easily established or quickly established um there could have been you know even petitions filed in a court possibly and i get that that a lawsuit across you know, international lines or whatever, even though it's Canada, I get that it can be costly, but if something is worth it, then it's worth it. If it's not, then it's not. Um, and it's pretty much only worth it, I think, when you have a shot. And I don't think, legally speaking, she had a shot. So now I'm going to use, just to wrap this up a little bit more, just to give some more tidbits, I guess, maybe where I was coming from and shit. I'm going to use the it, it, for this part of it. I was in I was in live stream chat. I wasn't up my panel, so I pulled up my comments here and just to explain the parts, my points, whatever. Um. Okay, so here's my first question. <coughs> in my whole point, my whole purpose of asking this question is because I kept hearing how because she wasn't getting fifty fifty like she had believed to be getting, then she was countering this by giving an offer of what she could be paid out at and the, her the offers that i've heard being made were pretty substantial so that's why i asked the question okay let's say that you know for argument's sake let's say that this split the 50 50 split of how cheshire wanted let's say that this happened steve granted this how much would cheshire then have received like how much would her 50 50 split have been worth because if it's not worth anything then why is it then that her not getting what she wanted somehow entitles her to more money than what she wanted is worth. Um, that's kind of my whole point. But no one could really give me an answer on that, it seems. So, but then as it was going going down or throughout this discussion, it was then mentioned how she had gone from the belief that she was a 50-50 partner to then the belief that she was a, an employee, like an independent contractor. So my next question was, oh, okay, well then like, um, when was this discussed or, or agreed upon? You know, when was any either role discussed or agreed upon? Then it went to the amount that she would have 
accepted or whatever. Re this dude, Reverend Ruin, had said that she would have accepted five thousand or was mentioned five thousand dollars. So I asked the question, well, if he had if he had paid her five thousand, if he had offered it, would she had, had accepted? And he said yes. Now this is the first I've heard of that. I'm not that this that's not to say that it didn't happen or wasn't discussed. I'm not read into everything, nor should I be. It's not my business, really. Um, in fact, the only reason why I'm participating in this is because it was a public discussion, and I, well, I'll be honest, I was there. Um, but I'm not seeking this this subject matter out to discuss further at any point in time, have I ever. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, as we're talking about what she would have accepted, see, here's where it gets confusing, because I'm told, I from what I hear, I think I'm hearing anyways, is that Cheshire wanted, Cheshire came up with the figure of 200K, but she didn't quite ask for 200K, but it was, the mention was made, I guess, or something. But then I guess Reverend Bruin had talk, kind of talked her down from that ledge a little bit and said to uh, um, come, back, come back with like an offer of like 50K. And he, he said that he was telling her to aim high or to, to um, offer high or whatever, count her high. And I refrained myself, but I'm not going to refrain myself now. I wanted to come back in the chat and be like, well, by, by, you know, aim high, do you mean to ask for a high figure or to get high first and then ask for a figure? <laughs> because there was a, like a $45,000 discrepancy in the 50K and the 5K there, you know, so I, one might wonder if the person is high. Um, and it's just me being snarky, I guess. But, um, so yeah. And this is, if you can see here in the questions, like, I'm like, wait, what? So her work was worth 200K, but she would have settled on 5K. And that's when Reverend Ruins is like, no, she didn't ask for 200K. So then I'm like, well, why are we even talking about 200K then if it wasn't a discussion? If we're, well, whatever. So then he said 50K, okay? And so in which case I came back with, and said, okay, so if her work was worth 50K, she would have settled for 5K? And then I'm told, well, she didn't ask for 5K. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> So did she ask for a figure, any figure, any amount? Was there an amount stated and made in an offer? And it's like I can't get an answer, but I mean, that's fine. I don't, I guess I don't need to get an answer, whatever. Um, so yeah, okay, and then it came back to the contractor and I said, but when was this discussed? Because like, here's, by my, by, by my questioning this, like, if she has the belief that she's working as an as as a partner throughout say two years, but then it's determined in like January of this year that it's the belief has changed to okay I guess I'm not a partner I guess I'm more of like an employee and an independent contractor. How can you then demand contract payment for the previous two years when neither of you were working under the assumption that you were in fact a contract contractor? Um, but there's whether whether no matter what your role was, there was no agreement, there's no contract protecting your your investment into this project under any title. So you, I don't see how one can legally be obligated to pay you for your contributions if there was never an agreement agreed upon between the two parties. And that's what I mean by I don't think Cheshire has a legal leg to stand on. And I'm not saying that to be mean, it's just I just don't see it. I'm not an expert, mind you. I get that. You know, this was a public discussion amongst people, and we were all participating. And um, I also want to make something clear, too. Like, when Tina and I did our stream about this a few months ago, I get that Cheshire and Manya might not believe what I'm about to say here, but it, whether they believe it or not, the fact remains. If the rules were changed... If it were Steve out there in the public on social media talking all about this and kind of dragging Cheshire and no one was talking on behalf of Cheshire, nor was Cheshire talking, we would have done our stream for Cheshire because we both love and respect the two parties. We both, I, I admire both, both of them and I respect both of them and I like both of them. We just wanted things to be fair amongst the two of them and it, as things were going, it, it was not fair. Um, we don't care where anyone ultimately falls, whether they fall on a side or whether they just don't give a shit, whether they just, you know, pick, you know, look at, you know, butterflies flying around, whatever, I don't care. We just wanted the information being presented to be fairly represented, representative. So 
considering that all of these people were talking up for Chesh, but no one was talking up for Steve, nor was Steve really giving information for people to talk on either. We get that. We just then wanted to put it out there. And that was the whole purpose of our stream. Um, you know, and it like, really, I just, I don't, I haven't understood much of this. And I was just asking questions. And I, Mania kept saying, well, why don't you ask Cheshire your questions? Well, maybe I should, but I mean, Mania insists that she's there as an advocate for Cheshire, so why do I need to ask Cheshire anything if Mania's there answering the questions? But then again, I'm not so sure she's really there as an advocate anymore because she's, it, Mania, no offense, but your efforts are not helping Cheshire. I, I, I don't know what to say. They're, they're not. Um, I mean, like, I'm naturally, I'm human like anyone else. Initially, I didn't give a shit about all this. But when I started seeing just how rude and how it, just terrible you were being to people that you once considered friends, that kind of made me want to get involved. So, but I, I'm not on Cheshire's side. And, and I get it. That's wrong of me. It's absolutely wrong of me. That's why I'm not, I haven't really done that. But you got to understand that if you're advocating for her, your efforts are not advocating for her. They're at her detriment, if anything, in my opinion. So, um, and it, it, this doesn't involve you. It, it doesn't involve me. I get that. It's between Cheshire and Steve, and I think for the majority of this, that's where it should have remained. But that's just my opinion. You know, I guess if you want, I guess if you, I guess in order to win, if you feel like in order to win, you need the, the sway of public opinion, then I guess keep doing what you're doing maybe I don't know but I'd rather just be right than appear to be right maybe I don't know but um yeah so I just want to throw that out there and I mean no disrespect money I really don't but just please hear me here I mean if if you are looking to help her these efforts aren't helping I mean I think that this would have long been just we everyone would have moved past this by now but it if not for you and I mean that as respectfully as possible. I don't mean that to start a war, but it's, it has, I haven't seen Cheshire talking much about this, but I've seen you I've, like daily almost talking about this. And I don't understand why, I guess. I mean, this is, in my opinion, this is kind of a tragedy. Not only did two people lose a channel that they both enjoyed working on together. I mean, sure, Steve still has a channel, but let's be honest, the channel's not the same, okay? It's not. No offense, Steve, it's not. And it's not it's, it's not not the same because of you. It's just not not the same. It's not the same because it's a different energy now. Because you and Cheshire, you guys did have a good back and forth, the good banter. It was fun to watch. That's what I enjoyed watching. And now it's not there. So I feel like the channel kind of lost out. I feel like both parties here lost out. And I feel like that's the tragedy here. It, the tragedy isn't. Cheshire not getting 50-50 or Steve not would I don't, I don't even know it that's the tragedy is for the viewers and for the channel and for their friendship and I don't know maybe I'm still holding out hope for for all of that being reinstated I people everyone tells me I'm nuts but whatever I guess I'm nuts so all right so that's that that's it for this part of the discussion um, I'm going to move on to tour later on in the stream when I ended up on panel and I'm going to discuss those matters um, I'm just going to take one quick break I'm going to end this recording and start a new one so I'll be right back okay so I kind of lied there for a second um, there is a little bit more of the chat that I was commenting on that I just wanted to elaborate on a little bit um, I'm not getting into that. I don't care about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it was discussed about his Steve's GoFundMe how it, the, for the TRO that he, couldn't, he wasn't allowed. It was against GoFundMe's terms of service to raise money for such a proceeding. But that's not the case. You can raise money for civil proceedings. And the petition that Katie filed for a TRO is a civil proceeding. The, it, if it were a criminal proceeding, then it would have been filed by the state. It would have been the state against or the whatever municipality against Steve, but it wasn't. It was a private citizen against a private citizen. That is a civil suit. That's civil litigation. Um, there was no, he was, Steve wasn't 
defending himself again for um, his freedom or whatever, or f for against punishment. Um, and nothing was even proven one way or the other since the hearings for that never happened. There was just the one ex parte hearing with with Katie and you know Katie side and the judge. So the there was no actual judgment made upon having a fair and balanced hearing there. Um, so. And it, this, the people on the panel get, were starting to kind of argue with me about this. In any which way you look at it, now sure, if Steve had violated his TRO, then he could be looking at a criminal procedure. He could be looking at being arrested for a crime. Then it could, you know, because him having to adhere to the terms of the TRO is a binding agreement, legally speaking. And if he breaks it, then they would be considered a violation of the criminal law, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. But I do know that an arrest would likely happen, in which case it would be criminal. So, but with the absence of that, it, there's no crime having been committed. So, there's no crime yet, and maybe not, there won't be, you know, at that time, according to the TRO. Someone had even um, told me to go look at GoFundMe's terms of service and number nine or whatever. Um, I can pull that up real quick, I think. I think, I think. So, go fund me TOS. Now, I, when they told me about this, I remember I had to scroll down for so long to get it. It was like number nine or something. Was it here? Yes, right here. Okay, um, let me see, make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can't see it very well, I gotta move this. No capture. Oops. I'll move to top. Okay. So let me get this so that you can read it all with me. Just ignore the voices in the background. Seems Michael is getting upset with saying something in the kitchen. All right, so here we go, number nine. It, this, it's saying that these funds cannot be raised for the legal defense of alleged crimes associated with hate, violence, harassment. That is the harassment part they're getting, is, so I'm gonna just stop there. So it cannot be used for the legal defense for alleged or accused crimes associated with these acts or these things, hate, violence, or harassment. So if he had violated the terms of the TOS, or the, or the TOS, the TRO, if he had violated the terms of the TRO and then been arrested, the legal defense for that arrest could not, it, these funds could not be applied for that. Um, but for his defense or his litigation f regarding whether or not the TRO is applied or remains is civil and the funds can absolutely be raised for that. That was my whole point that I was making. So, okay, so this next part is when I came up on panel and I'm just gonna play it and just, you know, elaborate, I guess, as it goes. Wait, 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 wait would, would, would that be sexual harassment? Uh, oh, I don't know, yeah, your I, I, know. I hit on TV talks earlier, told her she had a sexy back with that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm admitting myself, I'm sexy. Yeah, I'm sexy. I admit myself I've said some was completely disgusting. But now that we know that there's no melody, um. we all have our own boundaries and we we all have every right to our own boundaries and to have them respected. However, other people can't know what those boundaries are until we tell we told them our boundaries. Um, yes. So if someone crosses them, then it's it's our job, it's our duty to tell them, listen, no, that's not appropriate. That's I'm not cool with that. It's not it off. And th if they continue after that, then hell yeah, that's harassment. Um, but up until that point, they have to know that what they're doing is, is harassing to you before it can be harassment, I think. Actually, you know that's not necessarily true in the workplace. So in the workplace, you can overhear something, like a, a conversation can happen, and you're like, hey, did you hear? Yeah, I have no doubt that that's different in a workplace. I mean, uh, but you see, I was commenting on this uh, coming from a point of Steve and Katie, and they're not in a workplace. They're in a social setting on social media. So from that point of view is where I was discussing this. And and I think what I said, it absolutely applies. I mean, there's no there's no professional, there's no legal uh, guidelines or obligation on either side to a certain degree. Um, so it's up to us to d establish 
and make others aware of our own boundaries. And if they then ignore that or deliberately ignore it, then I think there's an argument to be made against the person who's, you know, offending you. But up until that point, they can't know that they're offending you if they don't know what it is they're doing that you find so offensive. Hear this dirty joke, and the person next to you has to like be a witness to the dirty joke, and they don't appreciate it. They can actually go to HR and say, "Hey, there's an issue." Um, so in the case of KJP, she's got this unique situation where it is like she is getting paid no, for it. She no, is, no, no, that's not replace. YouTube is not a job. Absolutely not. So her job, she was not paid. How much she needs to tell Steve that? It's like give him the memo. That YouTube is not a job. Steve, get a real job. It's not a job for anyone. It's, it's a sure. It's a means in which to it, create income, but it's not a job. Like, it's not going to affect on you in, in any way other than whether or not people pay you. If if you don't show up, no one's. You're not going to be reprimanded. Nor you can't collect unemployment. You can't from YouTube. Um, you can't. There is no human resource department which for you to walk into and make a claim of sexual harassment. It's a social media platform. You are here socially speaking, and if you happen to get paid, all the more better. But if you don't, it serves as a social media place, as, as a place for socialism or socializing. Socialism. <laughs> um, that's funny considering how capitalistic it is. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, like. And, and this is going to go on to it to elaborate a little bit more. But again, my question remains is, where's the human resources department? Who do you, who do you complain? Who do you report it to? You don't. And my pay, like in, in a live stream like this, say that this was planned or whatever. And this, I was, it was planned that I was going to show up in some stream and we we're going to do a live, live stream panel together. What, whether or not I make money from YouTube is not determined on whether or not I show up to that live stream. I don't have to be there. There's nothing obligating me to be there other than my word, maybe. Um, so I can't, be, I can't then make a claim that someone, that I was forced to, to deal with someone's shitty behavior toward me and I had to, to, had to deal with it or I'd lose out on a job or lose out on money. I can't make that argument. So I'm free to come and go as I choose, as I want. Um, just because I don't want to go doesn't mean that I have the right to police how everyone behaves in front of me. It's a social setting. I have to go where I feel comfortable, where people are of like mind, I guess. I can't enforce my values, my morals on the crowd around me if theirs happens to differ from mine. You know, they're not obligated to change their behavior to make me feel more comfortable. Point. Yeah, that's the thing. Like her pay was not was not determined, was not um, pre predecided on whether or not she was in that stream. Like she didn't get paid for that stream. Um, mm -hmm. Whether or not she continued to make money at YouTube or, or helped her channel had nothing to do with whether or not she was on somebody else's stream. It's just a choice that she had to do. And, and when it comes to YouTube, like there's no set hourly goal. There's no guaranteed income for a set amount of work. Um, I don't think anyone can really call it a job, but it's definitely not a co-working environment. I mean, like, where, where would you even go to complain to human resources? <laughs> I, I got I got a great question here, right? You see how 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 as men oh, and even women do it too. We might you know gallop in with our friends and, and speak freely about women that we like whatever the case may be right celebrities right? and you know for all intents and purposes you know people on youtube we are not celebrities but we are many influencers right so if somebody's having a genuine a, a, a conversation about a couple of creators and the creators are not there and they just say hey one of them is hot i'd love to have a threesome with this one this one and this one is that harassment you know what i mean like that's that a good question when you're, when you're a public figure and you put yourself out there as it would you be the same thing as somebody saying they want to see i think that's a really good question um i don't think it would be harassment but it can absolutely be inappropriate um it's you know it's a like i said it's a social setting if you behave in socially in ways that make other people feel uncomfortable then it can be deemed as inappropriate in which case people are going to react and feel a certain way about it so um but i don't think it can be considered harassment unless unless you are constantly making references like that while on panel, but in which case that could also be a violation of terms of service if it looks like you are harassing or targeting another individual or any indiv individual, let alone another content creator. Um, I haven't really fully read up on the terms of service. It's like reading tax law. There's like nothing more boring in this world except for maybe reading philosophy. So um, I can't really say for sure, but I think that terms of service might actually be worded in a way to cover this to a certain degree. Um, but you, but so, if someone just saying something like that, like a one time, like, oh yeah, dude, that, that, that chick's hot, that creator's hot, yeah, oh, I'd love to have a threesome with her or something like that. I don't think that that's harassment. 
I think it's crass and possibly inappropriate, but I don't think it's harassment if you do it the one time. But that's just my opinion. And really, what the hell do I know? Sleep with Beyonce, right? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Right. I don't think it's harassment. It may not be appropriate, but it's not harassment either. Is this gonna be, can, sorry, nope. I interrupt that. Am I, can I add uh, Melissa Boomer? I just, I just don't want anybody to fight. If I, Melissa's a, 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 a friend, friend. She is, but, yeah. but I don't know what Melissa wants to contribute, but yeah, she's a, she's, she's kind of old happen. school. She's old school. I just don't know what, what she wants to say. I have no idea, but she's not a bad person. The, the thing I want you to bring up is, what if you do tell them that what they're saying is making you feel uncomfortable and could they please stop? And they say no and continue it. But what if she didn't and she completely lied? I'm not talking about Katie. I think but then I, I would absolutely say that I would I would consider that me personally if it were my if it were me I would consider that harassment. Yes, right, thank you. But see, most creators they, they don't come to you and tell you anything. They just go right it on Twitter. See, and what I meant by that is if you are if someone is purposely going out of their way to disregard your boundaries, then yeah, that can be harassment. That can be harassing. What kid is it harass? But I mean, who are you going to complain to? Are you going to find the manager of like social settings and complain to them? Uh, unless it's there's nothing you can really no one can be held accountable there is no accountability if there's if there's no governing body and really i think it's up to every person in that setting to determine what is acceptable and what's not and if people don't agree with you then people don't agree with you in which case you're free to find people who do and i don't mean this as an insult to her and this is i don't mean this as victim blaming or, or whatever but no one is entitled to make you feel uncomfortable, nor are you entitled to demand everyone adjust their personality, their behaviors, their sense of right and wrong, their morals, their values to make you feel uncomfortable. No one owes you that, but you have every right to find that for yourself. Oh, if you do this, my lawyer is going to come at you like. Why don't you look it up, comrade, and post it? Oh, I guess you can post it here. Sorry, um, so I, I have to look up the definition of sexual harassment. I think yeah. I do that. Look it up because it is actually ruler than you expect. I think. What, what do you mean by definition, though? Do you mean like just the definition of it, like it's in Webster, or do you mean like a legal definition? In which case, I think you have to really pinpoint a, a geographical location because I think that definition can change depending on where you are. I think Melissa's trying to point out something, is what she's trying to do, if you want to let her in. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't want. I don't know the person, so she won't be talking to me. I don't know. So see, but, the thing is, is like you it's just so hard to add anybody to string. You never know. Everybody fights with everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, I, with, I, a not, work, I, with a normal work environment, it, it, it's, you're going to have different, uh, different guidelines and everything. And by by ways, but like on YouTube, it's it's a social setting. It's not an employment setting. If you're self-employed as a content creator, and you get have a big enough audience, then that if you're self-employed, then you are employing yourself. Uh, who are you going to complain to? Are you going to complain to yourself that you yourself are harassing yourself? I mean, that's, I'm not, I don't know, I don't understand. That can be your self-employed. There you go, Fiona. And that, you know, if you're somebody like Emily D. Baker, so I've been doing HR consulting and human resources for 29 years now. And so it can be. And I don't think anybody should be talking with authority about it can be this or it can be that because it's different in every, in every state. It's different in every municipality. And but then it, it, it's a law. It's a law. It's not a company policy. It's not a workplace. We're workers. Okay. It, it's, it's, it's a law. Yeah. It, it, and like I was just saying a minute ago, yes, that will change. The, she's right. They, I think that will change depending on what minu, municipality or where, whatever you're in, on what their rules and their laws are. But in which case, then it's a legal matter. It's a, it's, it's like a, it's a state. It's a, it's a violation matter against the government, against the laws. It's not a company policy. There's, you know, there are two separate things some of their rules may apply, you know, be interchangeable, but for, but they're, they're two different settings and they're two different sets of guidelines. Whereas it's not legally, it's not illegal for you to make a dirty joke in front of some, someone, whereas it may be against company policy for you to do that, you know? So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand, even understand what point she was getting at. And it's an employment uh, contract. So even Emily couldn't speak on it with any authority, depending on the different area and the different contrast. So we shouldn't be talking about it with any kind of authority amongst one another and knowing any different person's situation. And it's the, kind of the same thing. I think I'm pretty confident in much of what I was saying. Um, and it, but it's not in a place of authority. I mean, I think it's common sense though that company policy will apply to the company and those acting on its behalf at that time, whereas laws will affect the people in that location at that time. I mean, that's not, that's common sense. With Steve's 
lawsuit here. None of us, are, I mean, I know there's tortious interference that he's suing for. That's one of the claims. Another one of the claims is um, is defamation. So there are so many broad issues going on. That's all I want to say. And then the other thing is, um, Nikki, yep. one of these days when you have more time, you really should talk to Fiona and Spackle about going all the way back. They know so many things about Steve that go way back, way, way back before he even had his shows because there are a lot of things you don't know about his credibility. And I look at what I'm, I look at facts and I've had facts and they've been proven to me and that's what I look at. Unless I understand. I, I didn't yeah. know. I look at, things. I look at your Twitter and I see that you're lulzing with Steve as he calls me a sociopath live while I'm sitting here with you. And I just I'm talking about it. Uh, lulzing, lulzing, lulz. What does that mean? You're laughing. Um, I'm laughing. And so my, here's what I don't get. What if she was? It's her Twitter. I mean, sure, you can feel a certain way about it and you can say something to her, but she doesn't owe you anything, does she? I, I, you're, you, this is like the first time really she's talked to you that you're up on her panel for the first time. She, I don't think she owes you loyalty, you know? I mean... Hey, my question to you is, like I pointed out that he does this. He just declares somebody a sociopath and he just, voila, did it. Well, we're no, here. I need to go see if I like that because if I do, if I did, I'm wondering because that comment... No, you just happen to have a kissy face under it. I don't know. I don't well, know a kissy face. I mean... May, may I ask why can't we talk about these things? I don't fucking know. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't saying don't talk about it. All I was saying well, was... I don't, I don't fucking know. know. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I think it's with authority is what you were saying. Yeah, that's right? what I was saying. Thank you. Well, I, I mean, if there's... With the lack of any real clear, you know... Boundaries. I don't know, rule or, or guideline, or, you know, professional guidelines or whatever on YouTube. I mean, with the lack of that, then we kind of have nothing to go off of, except for our own personal preference. Yeah, that had nothing. Okay, I'm looking at it right now because Unirock just posted it, and I had nothing to do with you. I promise you, it was because we were arguing back and forth about how Steve was right. So I went, Steve was, and I blew him a kissy face because I won't say Steve was right. Okay, well, like I had nothing to do with you. Literally, sandwich between sociopath, and I was pointing that out at the time. Oh, I'm sorry you posted that. Right now. I had nothing to do with you. Smack was really good about rating yeah, me. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for it. It's her choice. Yeah, I was just because he keeps saying Steve was right. Steve was right, and I just said Steve was. Yeah, Steve's unoriginal, and yeah, that was important. I apologize. If you feel that anytime way. like he comes up with a catchphrase, it's a mirror of somebody else's catchphrase. So Uni has Uni was right, so he said Steve was right. So there you go. Um, I, I have a question though. Like, okay, so here's here's a panel full of full of people mm -hmm. here who are offering to to inform another content creator of all of this person's like past uh, sins or whatever or misgivings, whatever. I, I mean, going back years, as you said it. I mean. So that's okay. Like in your mind, that's okay. That's acceptable too. But but Steve to react to that by by saying this is crazy. This there's this a sociopath. Like that's unacceptable. See, and that's my whole point. I mean, and I don't think that that's why he was calling her a sociopath. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but it's similar a history of similar actions. I think is why he was calling her a sociopath. That's what was my the whole point I was making. Like here you are publicly up on a panel, a public panel on social media on YouTube, saying it, the, the all of the whole entirety of you. I, I, we got Spackle, we have Fiona, and we have the, the chick on the bottom left there. Um, the three of them are offering to inform Nikki of Steve's past sins, like all of them, going back years, as they said. So if he calls you a sociopath, how is he wrong, but what you're doing isn't? Because if you have a problem with being called a sociopath, the best way, I mean, if you're if your goal is to avoid that, then I would want to know why it was said to begin with. I mean, was this, is there anything I said or did, did to contribute to it? Or is it solely the other person just being a complete total dick without any inspiration at all? It, either one could be possible, you know? Um, and in this case, I can say with confidence that there was some inspiration there. That doesn't make him right. Don't get me wrong, but if your goal is to not be right, but if your goal is to cease these insults or these things being said, then you might want to consider inspiring a different tech or a different reaction out of people. And that's not to blame you. That's not to blame anyone. I'm, I'm not assigning blame. I'm just saying if your goal, if your intention, if what you desire is to cease these things being said, this is one sure way to go about it. That's all I'm saying. But if that's not good enough and you want to prove the other person right then or pr prove the other person wrong rather then your goal is to not cease the discussion the things being said about you your goal is to prove the other person wrong in which case continue what you're doing although i'm not sure this is going to get you that either but i get it i guess maybe i don't know and the, it's all i'm saying like if you're gonna go up and stream, you're gonna publicly bash someone and talk shit about them or whatever. You you gotta kind of have to expect an, an reaction. I mean, the whole reason why this panel is happening is because Steve first went up on her panel and was talking about much of this. And their reaction, their their act, the their the behavior that they're choosing in response to Steve's act is this. This is in response. This is a reaction. 
naturally your acts here are going to probably inspire reactions or responses down the road you know it's it goes back and it goes both ways that's all i'm saying I mean, um, I, I, don't get me. Do, don't get do me. Do Steve's, Steve's not. Steve's not right. Steve's do you not think right. I should call Steve a sociopath? No, I, I think no. no. I think maybe. I think maybe if people want to not be called a sociopath, and if people not, if people want to not have, maybe don't pull people's rape reports. And then you won't be called that. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me. I'm talking the truth. You, you're gonna say you're gonna. Okay, you're don't gonna pull call me your ass. She's trying to explain. Oh, so what? You're, you're, you're calling me. You were losing. You're calling me on behavior. You're gonna pull that little magic weapon. You can't really understand what I'm saying there, and I'm going to be petty. I'm going to take this opportunity now on my channel here to say it without interruption. Yeah. So in other words, I'm making a point here in our discussion. You're not liking the point because it's not going along with your narrative. Okay. It's it's counter it's counter it's counter it's counterproductive to what you're trying to accomplish here. So because you feel like maybe you're losing this part of the argument you then have to throw a low ball and i see i don't even see it as low ball whatever i don't give a shit but i know you all think it is a low ball and you think that other people see it as a low ball maybe some do i don't care but it just really it's very telling it tells me that i'm on, i'm i'm on the right path it tells me that i'm making a very good point in my argument and you can't handle it that's what it tells me just so you know why don't you, you stick to what we're behavior. talking about unless you ain't got the ball? Calm down, the people. Worst behaviors on, on, on this panel. And my whole point is, my whole point is, if you don't want to be called a sociopath, if, Steve, you'll be if Steve doesn't want people to be informing other people about him on streams, then maybe everyone just leave each other the fuck alone. Yeah, maybe don't call people's rape reports. And like I said before, if anything, my having gotten her report, it kind of corroborated her story to me. Like, it it gave me reason to believe her story, her her recall of events of that night than it than I did without it because the story much of the story that she told 13 years later regarding that was the same as what she still which she told then I don't know that I think that that kind of lends some credibility in my mind that's just my opinion however it she wasn't saying these things about the cops 13 years ago she wasn't even saying these things about the cops fucking three years ago this is just a new development and that's my whole that's what I first took issue with here let me kiss my ass Maybe yeah. don't like, also accuse people of sexual assault, maybe. Californians don't wrestle. What, what, what was that? that I didn't use anyone of sexual assault. Maggie See, you, you've missed all that. You've no, I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at, but that, that's not, it has nothing to do with me. That's my whole point. So why is that being... You, you see... It... Apparently, some people accused Fiona of sexual assault. And I'll be honest, if that's true, it's, it's really kind of a dick move. And it's just as much of a dick move as someone falsely accusing someone of sexual harassment. You know, I mean... It doesn't, one doesn't make the other right. You know, it's just, they're equally wrong, I think. Um, I don't really know. I, I know what Fiona told me. I know some of what other people, what I've heard anyways, other people say. I don't really care to get into this much. I think the whole thing was stupid. Like, I, I do, I, there's a lot of, there's some things that Fiona says that I doubt very much. I don't doubt, though, that this affected her. I don't doubt that this rumor was spread. Um, and I don't doubt that it took hold in some places. Um, I do kind of doubt maybe the, the, the implication that it, it could have caused her any problems really in her real life because I just, I, I feel like for the most part, people are not going to believe it unless they want to believe it, you know? Um, but yeah, but I don't doubt. I mean, it, I'll be honest, if someone was saying this shit about me, I would, I would find that very jarring because that's a serious thing. That's, that means that you think I'm capable of that. You know, it, that would bother me, whether anyone else heard it or not. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to yeah, do with you. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me. I never, I never. I, I didn't see. It had uh, anything to. I didn't see. It had anything to do with you. Um, but, but we're up here talking about these things here amongst us, and then you're pulling something else yeah. up. That's yeah. okay. You see what I mean? Just why is it so hard to stick on the subject at hand? When, the subject, when, when in, the subject in hand with is the history of Steve's behavior online. And that's part okay, of that's fine. Okay, and, if, and all I'm saying is, if you want to insist on informing all these people, all these other creators, all about Steve's past and everything, his his, his past sins, then maybe expect to be called a sociopath once in a while. Is I mean, this just, the subject matter? Is so, the subject matter Steve? Is 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 that is that part of what the stream is? So defending myself against a false accusation makes me a sociopath. I don't, I don't see I, guess. Up, I don't see anyone up here calling you. No, a sociopath. I we're giving you a false accusation. Okay. What I was saying was, 
because the, I'm sorry, I don't even know who's who up on stream. I think the one with the rainbow flag. So they were upset yeah. because Steve called them a sociopath. But yet then they come out and say, well, let me fill you all. Let me fill, fill you in on Steve's entire past. What, past what do you do on there. your streams, Aaron, except fill people in on KJP and tell people that they have to focus on KJP and you and Tina are like, stay on the mission, stay on the mission. What is that? If I'm a sociopath, what See, and I took, I kind of took offense to that because I don't think I've ever, ever uttered the phrase stay on the mission, ever. I get that Tina has said that in, in the past or whatever. And that, but that's fine. That's Tina. This may be a mission for her. And that's fine. It can be. Um, I don't. I don't view it as a mission. I view it as just when I see bullshit, I want to call it out. You know, I don't really see that as my mission. But I just see that as something, some innate desire inside of me, which may kind of be a fucked up thing. I'll admit it. But it, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, I get what she's saying there. The thing is, though, is that. My whole issue with Katie was not that she was just someone who lied or someone who told bullshit. She was she's someone with a platform, a platform that's since grown and gotten larger, you know. Um, and the harm in which the, it would she could cause, and she does cause, and she has caused from her platform. And my whole issue with it is not to stop her. My I never I have no desire to see her deplatformed. I don't want to. I don't want to see this. I don't want to help cause that. It is. I'm not judge, jury, and executioner of YouTube. I have no right to determine this. I have no right to determine this for for anyone else. I can determine it for myself. If I don't want to watch her, I don't watch her. That's how I do that. But I have no right to determine that for anyone else, let alone determine that for the platform. That's up to the platform to make that decision. But, but as, so long as she's there, so long as she's telling these outrageous lies about so many people and so many things, then I have every right to just, just call them out, you know? And that's what I'm doing. Like, I don't contact her. I don't, I don't even comment on her shit. You know, like I maybe like a dozen times throughout like years, I may have left a comment, but it's been so long since the last time I did that. Cause even that felt wrong. So I stopped. Um, so I'm not coming at her. I'm commentating, you know, and I don't want to see anything bad come to her. I don't want to see anything like that. It's my, what I'm, I don't even care about her. I'm not doing this to have an effect on her. I'm just doing this so other people can see should they want to see. That's it. But what people are doing to Steve on social media is fucking harassment, okay? People are dragging and bringing all this shit up from years ago and wanting him to be held accountable. Okay, I don't want to see Katie held accountable. The only accountability, I, the thing close to it I want to see is just for the truth to be out there. Okay, that's it. So people want to, if people here with Steve wanted to put out there that yes, he had this person on his channel, then say it, state it, put it out there into the universe. Okay, fine. But he's not denying that. So I don't even see the point in which to do that. But people want to see other people hate him and drag him and ridicule him because these people disagree with his decision to do what he wanted to with his channel. They don't have the right to be judge, jury, and executioner of YouTube. They don't have the right to determine what I find acceptable to watch for myself. YouTube has the right to determine it for the platform. I determine it for myself. They have no right in any of this, in any of this decision making. They have the right to determine it for themselves. But they want to decide it for you too. And if you don't take issue with that, then you must not really value maybe the ability to make these kinds of, any kind of decision for yourself. If you don't take issue with losing the right to decide, the ability to decide and handing that, you, you're fine handing that over to people, other people to apply their judgments onto it. And people who are not qualified or at all educated on how to properly do something like that. You know, I mean, I don't even know how to finish this sentence. It's just, it's a baffling concept to me, I guess. That's my whole point here, though. That's my whole point. What the fuck that's are you? Yeah, I, I never that's my point. I don't that's, have a mission. That's what Tina I, said. I, I, I have I, the clip. I, I, oh my God, I am I Tina? Am I Tina? That's your, that's your, that's your right-hand woman? Oh, that's my right-hand woman? That's who you're, who you're it, that's my friend. That's my friend, okay? It's not my right-hand woman, it's my friend. So what I'm trying Wait. to tell you is, is that if you're going to call me a sociopath for pointing out lies and a pattern I of, of uh, that he, no, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. If you are going to support Steve being able to do that and call that a legitimate reaction, 
Um, then, then I have a question for you. And, and it that is, is, a legitimate is it a reaction. legitimate reaction for KJP to call you a sociopath? You know what? Sure. You obviously don't really listen to me much because I've been saying since day fucking one that all of us who do this in this community are engaged. See, and what I'm saying there is, because I'll be honest with you, sure, that's a legitimate reaction. She can absolutely do that. Um, and but what I'm about to say here is that anyone who's listened to me, like from the very beginning when I started my channel, and when people would ask me, like, why do you cover? Why do you talk about this? Why do you do, have a channel on the things you have a channel on? And I, the, one of the very first things I say is, you know what? People, a lot of people think that if anyone talks about these things or has a channel about these things to, to this degree, that they must be fucked up. Well, they're probably right. I think everyone in this community who has a channel, who's focused on the same things as, as my channel, I think we're all a little bit fucked up. I don't think it's a bad thing, but for whatever reason, there's something inside of us that wants to, that wants to see some sort of fairness. And it's to the point that we are creating the fairness where we see the absence of fairness. At least that's my take on it, you know? And it's something that just nags at me a little too much, probably more than it should, but it is what it is. Yeah, we're all a little bit fucked up. I've been saying this since day one. Yeah, you but you just absolve yourself of accountability. You, you try to use moral relativism as a way to absolve yourself from accountability. And it's I'm not absolving. You think you think I've absolved myself from accountability? You think I just escaped accountability? Absolutely. That CP really? thing? Oh, that's not really CP. That really? nonsense really that you did on Twitter? You don't even know what was said. That's, I never said that. I literally... I never said I li See, the, the, trying to absolve myself of accountability, what, whatever. Um, I think that... I mean, I don't, I don't understand what, what accountability or whatever she's expecting me to adhere to. I mean, term, YouTube terms of service exist. If you disagree with something to the point that you feel like terms of service should, should be brought into it, then by all means report it to YouTube or Twitter or whatever the platform may be. Um, is there some sort, some sort of social accountability? I was, I should have been, you know, force to face I don't understand um, but if you do think that that's the case well I would argue that I think that it's already been applied because socially speaking each person has the right and the ability to react or to treat me in whatever way they see fit and judging from my comment section and some of my DMs many people are very nice and polite but there are some people who are quite fucking mean how is that not accountability I mean just because I'm not sitting here taking my punishment or whatever with with a feeling of dread and despair you know just because i'm you don't get to see me suffer with it doesn't mean that it's not happening but i think that that's the problem is that you're not seeing me suffer with it and that's what you really want to see how's that not fucked up literally yeah. watched your tweet i watched how you, you literally were it. paying attention to that and you literally haven't heard everything i've said about it since then you literally had ignored that to follow your own narrative What's not a narrative? drink drink everybody narrative boom oh i say it that's why i say it. it's just so i can see you guys get drunk <laughs> i'm not drunk here um, i don't drink Damn. so so let's talk i am now just <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> some dumb damn fuckery in here okay so. okay so i can leave this to cooler heads to prevail you know what ekc um, this is kind of goes straight to my point is that I didn't know any of these people. I met Steve on his own on Facebook and I had a, her, a horrendous her, uh, interaction with him that completely turned me off due to his credibility. And then I came across archives and then I was shocked at his behavior. And that's how I came to know some of these people. And I was even more shocked at his behavior. And Dude, yeah, I get it. here's my problem with that is that if you think that the same can't be said about you, and I don't care who you are, this goes to all of us, then you are sorely mistaken. Um, we all have our own sense. We all have those moments where we behaved very poorly and some people were may, will maybe find our acts more grievous than others. That's just the way it is. But um, we all have that. Just because Steve's happened to be archived in the archive section, like you stated there, which is I guess maybe that's a little weird, but um, just because his are there doesn't make him any different from you. And I say this because if you were going to then lash out at him and make him pay and want to see him held accountable for his sins, you should really accept and be aware that the same, very same can and will likely happen with you. If you expect him to take it, if you expect everyone else to be in agreement with it, then you yourself should be in agreement with it when it comes back around to you. And I've said this from the very beginning. If you're going to be any kind of 
figure or whatever on social media. You should not be sitting here saying to yourself, I wonder how I will react if people then come for me. You should instead be saying, I wonder how I will react when people come for me because it will happen and it will happen time and again because that's just what we do as fucking humans in a social settings, okay? That's just how we act. Um, so if you want to hold him accountable for some stupid shit he said or did fucking 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, then you yourself should be in agreement that you should also face yours, your own when other people want to see you face it. I mean, I look at my past, how I've behaved on social media and off of social media throughout my life. And if people saw like 10% of that, 1% of that, I'd probably be more hated than Steve, you know? I mean, that goes to say, this goes to say for all of us though. You know, it's, I don't, I don't know if people are trying to justify their own behavior by seeing other people pay for similar behavior when, when they can or what, but you just do get over yourself, learn to forgive yourself for being an asshole in the past. And maybe you won't be so wrapped up in seeing ed everyone else pay for their assholeness of today. I mean, we, we find like-minded people online, I guess. Exactly. And yeah. I, happen to, I happen to be somebody who has a manic episode, particularly in the last couple of years because of my content creation. So Spackle has been somebody who's helped. I missed that last night. So you're your follow-up to that is you say you're someone who who's been susceptible to manic episodes so you're i take that as you're admitting that you are capable and often are guilty of manic episodes so if you know that about yourself why are you going after some other people for having a moment of being an asshole or something online i mean that just seems that seems fucking it seems like i don't know start self-flogging or something instead of making other people that i know that's a, that's an asshole thing to say never mind that learn to forgive yourself okay because no one else is going to forgive you unless you forgive yourself and you're going to have a real hard time trying to find validity in who you are as a person by making other people pay for it helped me wrangle in my own behavior and i've got to tell you something I, I, it it was really easy and quick for me to see his behavior. So when I come across people like Nikki and I like her content and I see Steve creep in the back door, I'm kind of like, oh girl, you got to check this out. So I apologize if you're offended by that. But no, no, I'm, listen, I'm not offended here. Okay, I just think it's a little ridiculous because like I, the thing is, is no matter who are you to decide what Nikki should or should not. I mean, if by creep in the back door, okay, you make it sound like Steve's like worming his way into to feed off of her or her channel and to destroy her or whatever. And that's not the case, come on. I don't care who you are, that's not the fucking case. So, but I mean, if he, if he was some sort of predator, he was coming to harm her, yeah, sure, you give her a heads up, absolutely. But who are you to decide that she should, who she should or shouldn't let in or be friends with based on your own perception? Your, your own morals, your own values, your own experience, because she's going to look at things differently as we all do. I mean, I get it. You'd, sure. By all means say, listen, this is my experience. You know, just, I, maybe you might want to be aware and take, you know, just consider it when moving forward. Fine. I get that. But you're not doing that. You're up on panel here trying to convince her and offering to offer up all years worth of evidence or whatever of, of his behavior going back years over her channel. I mean, th that seems kind of obsessive. Who we're talking about, whether it's Steve, whether it's Uni Rock, no matter who it is, we are all going to have likely different reactions or different interactions with, with the person, whether it be due to how we meet them, when we meet them, you know, under what circumstances, what, where we're at, and like whatever the case may be, okay? And I get how Steve can come off as abrasive at times, okay? I get that. I see it, okay? Abrasive. I'm not lying. He's yeah, a creep. Abrasive. He's not a creep. Oh my God. He was creeping on Nikki last night. Listen, was listen, so clear. listen. This, see, she says he was creeping on Nikki last night. I haven't watched the stream from the previous night, so I'm, I'm not sure what exactly she's talking to, but I have seen these two interact before. He's that I don't, I don't know what she means by creeping. I mean, she's applying her own experience with him when she's applying that veil, when she's determining and looking, judging his, his behavior with someone else. So she's looking at it through a bias. 
you know, and I'm not even sure what he did with her that she considers so creepy. I mean, and this we're going to get more into this because. I'll explain when we get there. It's, it's, it's subjective anyways. That's opinion that's subjective. I don't even care. I don't care what you think about it, okay? It's all subjective. What? Why are you being so rude, miss? <laughs> ma'am, he lied about me. EKC, ma'am, he lied about me to several people. He flat out lied. Thank you, Nikki. Thank can, you. I, can I say something, Nikki? Yes, please. I think this is the biggest problem. I think we're dealing in a community with a bunch of people. I don't mean to diminish, diminish her feelings, whatever. I get that she feels the way she feels about Steve, and she, uh, you know, likely has her reasons, whatever. I get that. Um... But you're not going to convince everyone else to take on your fight when they have no issue. It's just, you know, it's your fight. Whatever. Well, they think they can just say whatever they want about people and there's mm -hmm. no repercussions. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You say what you want to say about whoever, but they have the right to say what they want to say about you. Well, so, yes. if, if you, if you, whatever that lady name is, you oh. said something, it, it probably yeah. hung the call. Okay, you, I'm just telling you the fact of it. She's Look, not but, calling anyone. Go pass the board, so she go pass her maid. Yeah. So, yeah. Whatever, and, and I, I said, said something because he's... If you throw shots at people, they're going to throw shots back. I, now you get, you get up here and how are you yelling at Aaron about something? He's known me for some time. So he knows that when I get involved in these things, it's not because I'm like, I'm oh, going yeah. bad. Okay. Yeah, see, Red has actually known Aaron doesn't have nothing to do with Steve McCray. No. Aaron is, now you get, you get up here and how are you yelling at Aaron about something? Yeah. Aaron doesn't have nothing to do with Steve McCray. No. Aaron is Aaron. What? Okay. Yeah, see, Red has actually known me for some time. No, so he, he said that for a reason. Ask anybody mm -hmm. out of malice, but I will go after you if you say the smallest thing about me because it's my right. Now you get, you get up here and how are you yelling at Aaron about something? Yeah. Doesn't have nothing to do with Steve McCray. No. Aaron is Aaron. What? Oh, I think I think it was the what or whatever. I I because when I heard that on stream last night, I had the impression that people were like, "Oh yeah, no, she doesn't have anything to do with Steve McCray." You know, like it was mocking, and that's why I say what I say. Okay. Yeah, see, Red has actually known me for some time, so he knows that when I get involved in these things, it's not because I'm like I'm going to bat for someone because I'm I'm all about that, that person as my friend. It's because I see or hear something that I find unsettling, and I have to speak up on it. Can I ask you what did, what was your last sentence you said, Ren? I feel like I misheard you. The last thing I said is, Aaron is not Steve. What did I just say? Aaron is Aaron. She's not Steve McRae. So why is she up here being attacked? Aaron's pushing Steve McRae's fundraiser. She's pushing his lies. So? She's refusing to listen to facts. All because no, I'm not. I, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna comment on this right now. Yeah. Uh, what facts? And even I'll be honest with you. These there may be some facts or whatever that exist. I haven't seen them yet. But I'm hey, I'm open minded. Let me see them. But the facts alone existing is not going to sway me into your thinking because it wasn't my experience. It may not even be a priority to me. So because you have you take issue with someone over this thing doesn't mean I too am then going to take issue with them or as much of an issue. There are some things that don't bother me that may bother you and vice versa. That's it's that's just how relationships work, you know? And it's YouTube. It's a content creator on YouTube. I'm not marrying Steve. I don't have to hold him to a certain standard that I would hold a potential life mate or whatever to. He's a content creator and he's a friend. I hold him to that set of standards. And that set of standards may be different than, I guess, than the standards you hold for content creators, maybe. I don't know. Just a second. Me, me I haven't Aaron, seen the fact. Yeah, I've been begging sides. to see facts. Nobody shows me shit. Yeah. yeah. But, does that, well, but, does that, you, but does that mean we need to go dig into her pulling up Katie's essay report and all that old stuff? We're talking about Steve McCray now. Thank you. Like, I don't understand see, why. I'm, I'm, whole... I'm just asking respectfully. Like, why? If, if, if somebody yes, else Red, I think Ren has a great point. If, if Ren has a great point. Like, like, I kept trying to interrupt him. Another crazy shot because the shot he just. I didn't mean, I, I listening, to, I, this is why I hate listening to myself on panels because I can see how Boz is kind of rude to me. I kept trying to interrupt or whatever, you know, and. I, I try to work on try to be conscious of that at the time, but you, you know, you're not always conscious of it. Just look at her. I don't know what, I don't know what's going to be. Then we get to a full point argument is why. We don't all mm -hmm. have to agree. If we all agreed in the world, how would the world look? Am I wrong? I, just, I, I, I think you're wrong. Here's, 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 here's why I point that out. It's not just what about her and making an argument that's like a non sequitur and, and out, out of left field. It is that I have boundaries that are stricter than this person that's attacking me saying that right. he's allowed to call me okay. a sociopath. Well, who's, who's attacking? Who's attacking? You're attacking. You're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you won't acknowledge your own attacking. That's the thing. Is, is you all sit there. And it's fine if you have these boundaries, but you don't have the right to force your boundaries on everyone else's behavior, on everyone else's behavior when it comes to being on social media. You don't get your be your boundaries don't get to dictate the setting for everyone else. Maybe on in a place like your channel and your live chat, sure, there you can make that decision, but. 
If you're not making that decision, you don't have the right to insist that you be what decides that for everyone else, okay? Act like Steve's doing all these horrible things to you, but you, but so many of you guys in the Uni fam spend so much of your days just figuring out ways to come at Steve, and you guys do it. Okay, but, but and there's but one I, of Steve. There's only one of him. There's many of you. Can I ask you a question, Miss? He called mm -hmm. you a psychopath just out of the sky. Sociopath. So whatever the word. Oh my God. He called you out of the sky blue. You didn't say nothing to him. He just picked you out of a lineup and called you a whatever. I never, I never called him a sociopath. I'm asking you a question. Did you or did you not? I call out his lies. I don't care. know. Maybe it was the who you love is who you love. Yeah. Well, you know, you know. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cheers, all. I have to go to bed. Unfortunately, I work unlike these guys. And so who's supposed to... What was that? <laughs> if, I'm wrong, if, I, if I'm wrong, tell me go fuck myself. Yeah, well, you know, you know, Steve, <laughs> Steve, David, Earl Warden. So who supports who's who? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. Cheers, all. I have to go to bed. Unfortunately, I work unlike these characters. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I work. Okay. Nice try on that shit. Okay. I just, I work at nights. I don't work during the day. Usually. They're bringing up this Earl guy or whatever that Steve had on his channel a few years ago. I agree. It was a poor choice and guess. I, mean, I don't know if he knew about who his past ahead of time or not regardless it was a poor choice okay i think it, it would have served steve better if he had just said wow i didn't know about that shit thanks for telling me i'll be sure not to have him on again but that's not how things went okay it's his channel you i mean if you want to judge your content creators based on who they have on this guest then that's your right to judge that on behalf of yourself but you don't get to judge that you don't get to apply that set of rules that standard to who i get to watch who my options are or who anyone else's options are okay you don't get to do that you have no right to decide that for anyone else you can inform people sure but you don't if you're going to sit there and try to insist that people adhere to your set of standards, your morals, your values here, and they don't, but you keep pushing, well, wouldn't that be also be deemed as harassment? I mean, think about that. Please, it's okay. I wanted, it's okay. you, you can't handle the actual arguments. You have to pull out. Oh, stole it. it. I'm, I'm sorry about ruining your speech. I love how she bailed. Like, that was really yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to give up. Okay, um, but to answer your real, question, you're fine, I promise you. <laughs> to to answer your, your question there, real, um, if you go to her Twitter, I mean, you, you, well, you, you, you know, they kick me off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the shot yeah. that they take, but it still remains if you go and take the shot that is taken at you is to falsely accuse you of sexually assaulting someone. What shot should you take back? What shot should you take back if somebody falsely accuses you of making death threats? Mm. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to comment on, I already commented on this some, and, and I, I did come to the realization that Fiona does deserve, I think, more consideration than she has received in regard to this accusation made against her and what she's had to endure from it. Um, and I thank her for helping me, you know, see that and realize that. Um, and that's where I stand on the issue. So, there's that. But I'm going to forward ahead, though. I want to wrap this up with one thing that she says that I, I do kind of take issue with. Uh, you go at him. I asked a specific question. Who wanted to watch the videos? You didn't want to watch mine? Oh, it's this chick asking me who accused me. I was asking the question. You were talking about if you know if somebody says something, you fire back. And I was asking what the appropriate firing back was. Her name's Fiona. Well, you know, you gotta, you, I gotta ask you. You gotta ask you. So I say What's more. the time so, stamp? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get an understanding. You've been there for 20 years, and it just dropped you like a, a bear can on the corner. Right. Are you going to shut up long enough for me to actually finish a sentence this time? <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. I'm just asking. I ask you a question. I think you have to try to answer you. You only like, try to answer you and you keep interrupting me. I'm it's not constant. saying anything. This and it's off again. I think it, I'm gonna say this. I think we were both interrupting her. I, I, I know I did my fair share too. Um, I just want to say though, like when you when you're on a panel with six people and everyone wants to talk and everyone has an opinion and everyone wants to try and and put information out there to you know aid to the discussion, that when you take so long to give your answer that you you draw out your words. You take spaces. Almost like you're calculating these pauses in your speech. And I'm not mocking her, okay, I'm not. But when you do that, people are going to get frustrated and they're going to butt in on these pauses. Um, that's all I'm saying. Okay, real quick, I just wanna commentate on a few things that Fiona and I were discussing or talking about. Um, I'm not, at no, at no point was I victim blaming or shaming or whatever the case may be. I don't blame her for how she feels. I don't blame her for, for 
for other people's actions. I don't blame her for wanting other people to behave in ways that she felt comfortable with. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not blaming her. I'm just pointing out that should she make the request to people to take her feelings into consideration, that if they don't take her feelings into consideration, she has other means at her disposal. She has the she has more control than she's than she's adhering to or, or realizing. She can remove herself from the situation. She can block people. She has other means at her disposal to protect herself and her her comfort levels. Um, that's all I'm saying. That's not at all blaming her for shit. That's just realizing that first and foremost, what matters is her being in a place where she feels safe. Uh, once that's established, then we can move on to other things. But first, let's establish that. And if the actions of others are not making you feel safe, then you have things in your power that you can do to make yourself feel safe. That's my whole point. And I'm getting really, really annoyed with people in chats or comments who who keep pushing and wanting to know about anything I may or may not have, has, have experienced. Now, I get it. A lot of people like to tell their stories and such on YouTube and all the power to them, really. I'm not one of those people. I see how so many people here on social media uses shit against each other or uses shit against anyone, whether it's a viewer, a creator, whatever. I'm not going to give anyone the power in which to do that. And the more people try to push me to, I, I hope that they realize, hey, you know, you can do whatever you want, but you should know how much of a piece of shit you look like when you do that. So. Anyways, moving on, there is one more part of this video I did want to cover real quick. Yeah, because, no, I'm saying that no, I understand that. I understand. But what I'm saying is that is how it feels. Um that I finally decided. I'm speaking up. Stuff this. Okay. But you, you know what we're I mean? still talking about in a, 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 a potentially allegedly crass comment of, that he made, right? That that's what we're talking about still, right? You I see, mean, I don't understand what you have to be scared of. Well, every time I went anywhere on social media, people descended on me. Pervert and all the rest of it. Remember, I'm on there under my own name because I got all my social media way back. I've been, been online since. See, this is where I got confused, though. I mean, we were talking, she was saying how she's going to finally speak out or whatever. Uh, she was scared or whatever. And and I, I wanted to just confirm, we're still talking about this crass comment, right? This is what you were speaking out against. But then she goes right into these these outrageous accusations made by, uh, like, I guess, Manya or Cheshire and Steve and all them, uh, you know, about the whole uh, uh, shit with Brad's rhetoric. The, those were two separate things. So I'm confused. Like, what did, what did, what was she scared of? Like, what is she speaking out of? Because I thought that this whole thing was about Steve's behavior. I thought that this we were talking about, but yeah, she's talking about some shit that other people did too. And that's where I'm getting confused. But more importantly, though, I want to point out that, that, We all have more power within ourselves than she seems to want to admit. And I, I, that is something that I am concerned about for her sake, not for anything else. But because she she can create the, these situations that she would classify as more ideal. She can do that herself. Um, it's, it's nobody else's control to do that for her. It's hers. And she can do it. I just, I hope that she she realizes that, you know, because it seems like this really messed, I don't know, just messed with her head or whatever, got to her. And she can kind of control that, I think. I don't know. Okay, this is the last part I do want to discuss because I don't know what the hell this is. A flying fuck what you think. And you can suck a dick. So yep. you run around and you do that shit, and I'm just going to be peachy keen okay. I really am. And I don't let this shit bother me. As far as what Fiona went through and her experience oh, I'm, I'm questioning why it it has gone on this long and there's never been a resolution and i feel bad about that i really think that it would have been better if uh, i just noticed that the comments in the comment section here teresa she was one of the, the people who asked me about that and then she had followed it up with um I know I don't know anything about you. Just trying to get better understanding where you're coming from. Don't mean any disrespect. Respect. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. And and I apologize if I kind of snapped at you for you know when you did ask that. Um, I understand what you know what you're saying. Um, my answer though still remains the same to that, but just in a lot less bitchy of a way. 
she didn't align with people that don't really have a backbone other than they hate fucking Steve McRae. You've got Holy Spackle out there in the fucking chat, and she's all about hating it. I know, Frank Girl was the one fucking death records, and all this other bullshit doesn't give a shit about the families, and they don't call him out. Actually, CJ called him out for about 20 minutes in one chat the night it happened. I I don't know if it dated. I don't support Patty. Right up in there back with him. So all these people go back and forth and flip flop and just fucking go with the flow. I'm not flip flopper. Not you. I'm not talking about you. They you need did, to you fuck... just said my name, Smackle. I'm not flip flopper. Uh, yeah, I think you are. Okay. Did, I did you I ever call Uni? Did you ever call Uni out yes. after for going I, after Marble Girl? I have gotten into arguments with Uni quite a bit. He will tell you. I didn't know you were in here. I, I don't know Marble Girl. I really <laughs> don't. I know the name. That's the one I don't know. I, I know other people. I do I, not know Marble Girl. I watched the stream where you were calling. I know. Out and she was in there, I, and I saw you. I know Dick Dawson. I know. I saw you give Marble Girl accolades for bringing up that you called Virgo that she called Virgo out on that. That stream's still on your channel. Julie Virgo? No, that Virgo Virgo chick. Virgo Tryon. Oh, Virgo Tryon, okay. Yeah, you remember that broad razor she did that was bullshit? Uni keeps trying to say that she was part of it when she was the one that exposed it. You know this stuff, don't you? I don't know Marvel Girl very well. It doesn't matter if you know her or not. She was in your chat calling it out. That's something that I personally find infuriatingly frustrating. He's asking a question here, like, you know all this, right? You know this. He's, he's looking for confirmation of what these events that, that, that unfolded. And her only response to that is, I don't really know her. You're, you're purposely avoiding the question. You're avoiding giving an answer. You're avoiding validating the things that he's saying. And at least that's what I'm guessing, because had you felt differently about it, had you it, it disputed what his claims, then you would have absolutely come out and said that that's bullshit. But you're not saying that. Instead, you're just avoiding it altogether. So you're avoiding, you're, you're purposely avoiding any, so, any sense of validation for him for the shit he's saying. That is frustrating. That is, that just, it, it comes across as hugely disingenuous on your part. You acknowledged her that I know, way. I know Ilya, the Ilya situation better. See? Yeah, that so everybody knows it. about that. That's another one. That one oh, and the I one that Sean, Sean really well. yeah, those are your two big ones. But everybody else that ever did a fundraiser. Okay, so I lied. There's one more thing I want to talk about, which, in fact, it's the whole reason why I wanted to make this video. And for some reason, I forgot about it. I already had the other video uploaded to YouTube, but now I have to redo everything. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go ahead and play the part of the stream that I'm going to be commentating on but to provide a little bit of context this is the part where Fiona tells me why it is she no longer wants to live stream with Steve and um, tells me about this like shitty thing or whatever he said to her um, so I'm just going to let it play for now say anything to KJV what I said was I had witnessed them saying things like that to other people like what? that's what I said things like what? Um, when Hillary Pugh asked him to stop with some of the suggestive stuff in a live chat, and he said no, and kept going. When I asked him to stop it, and he just kept going. Right, but like what? I mean, what was he saying? I mean, I don't. I, I just I have a hard time seeing this because like he's been nothing but but it, you know respectful or whatever with me. Well, I had asked him to stop with all the sexual banter with me. I told him it, it actually made me a bit. I mean, the word I used was uncomfortable, but I couched it in such a way that I made that my fault, and I said to him, look, maybe I'm just oversensitive here, given my history. But I don't like this. But he just kept doing it. Well, I mean, like, I, I've heard him talk, talk about this before. Like, it's it's his, you know, it, I don't know how to put this. Like, if, if you were a guest in my channel, I would absolutely respect your boundaries, okay? I would absolutely do that. Um, But, I mean, anything short of that, I mean, it, I would try to be respectful. But, I mean, also, if if what I'm saying is, in, in my opinion, just, like, normal banter, but if somebody else may have an issue with it, then, you know, we make butt heads or something. That doesn't mean either one, anyone's wrong. You know, it's just we have every right to want to be comfortable, you know? And, yeah, and well, so also, I had to I'd ask them to stop it. I had asked him to stop it. And I tr- as I say, I tried to make it out to be my fault because I thought he would take it better that way if he thought I wasn't criticising him, OK? <clears throat> and I went in. We had a show planned. And I went in. And j- j- just like Katie. And I'll be called a liar as well, I'm sure. Um, it was just me and him in there. And it was around about the time we were having huge big fights online about um, ending of pregnancies. I'm trying to avoid the words, OK? Um, oh, OK, all right. Right, that sort of thing. And also the dangers inherent in pregnancy and pointing out that you know, it wasn't a walk in the park. And I recounted my experience, 56 hours labour, and then an emergency caesarean section. And Steve said to me, you had a caesarean section? Well, so you must still be quite tight then. And I've run another stream with him again after that. I have a heart. I don't, I, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't listen, I'm sorry. I, I get what you're saying, and I get how guys talk like that. I do, I'm not doubting it. It's just, uh, please understand, I just, he's, I've never seen or heard him say any shit like this. I mean... See, and that's just it. Here's the thing. All right, that's the last part there. Okay. I don't for a second believe that that Steve said that. And that's not to suggest that I think Fiona is a liar. That's not it. 
um, some other variation of, of that explains all of this must exist. I, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to try and I don't know. <sighs> See, here's the thing. He didn't say that. And when I asked him about it after the stream, or I, I told him about it rather, um, if, if, the only thing he really he could come up with was that um, they had done a live stream together among with other people. And this live stream was about this disgusting thing called like the husband stitch or whatever and but see that even that doesn't make sense I, I mean I'm trying to think like if he could have maybe made some inappropriate joke or something during the stream but see that even that doesn't apply because in her scenario and what she described it was just the two of them and it was like before a live stream so even that wouldn't apply um And the whole point of of that live stream that they had participated on was they would have had to discuss the whole like concept of whether or not it makes things tighter or would the ideology maybe behind it, you know. So that would have had to have been discussed. So even if he made like a piss poor joke, which you know he can do sometimes, I do it too. I know I do it. Um, so even if he made a piss poor joke, like. It wouldn't even be some disgusting, ill-intentioned thing because it would have been the topic of discussion in such a live stream. And see, and that's the thing where I, this is the difficulty I have in, in even considering that really that he said anything like that. And it's because he's not an ill-intentioned man. He's not. And I'm no expert judge of character by any means, don't get me wrong, but after 25 years of bartending, I can say with some confidence that I met a lot of ill-intentioned men, um, a lot of perverts, pieces of shit, whatever. I've also met some good men too. And I, that's just not Steve. He's not an ill-intentioned man. He's just not. Um, he may have a really, he may have a, a great inability, inability to read a room. I get that. But there's no ill intentions behind him. And when he says or does something, I, I just, I don't see it. I can't see it. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't believe this for a second. Um, again, and I'm sorry if this upsets Fiona, I don't mean it to, but it's just, it's just, it's not him. Sorry. Um, and I know I said that <laughs> this is one more sorry I lied, but actually there's one more coming because I just, I settled on putting this little clip here because I already got my video already put together in fact I already have it uploaded to YouTube and I'm gonna have to redo that so but I don't want to put this one at the end because my intro is already put on there so the last clip is gonna be the last clip you got one more clip coming after I'm done talking here but it's a it's a short one so stick around now is a fraud even though those are the only two with hard can hardcore facts and evidence and receipts so fuck what's it yeah, I, I, you know what? I know where you're coming from on that, and I had to deal with that last year. So I understand Uni does has a habit of saying that. I get where you're coming from, but you know what? I want to address EKC, and then I'll get out of Spackle's way. I'll get get out of Fiona's way. This is what I'm talking about, EKC. You know what Steve did for a long time? Oh he he white knighted for somebody named Shani for Christ. It goes all the way back to the GDC days when they were on Google Chats, and he still white knights for her and a guy named Revelation News. Revelation News is in jail right now for so-called child abuse. For kicking right his there. autistic, uh, autistic. See, here's the thing. I don't even want to continue playing this because it gets me so infuriated. You're trying to despair a man's entire reputation because you don't like that he was friends with someone years ago this is that when it, it's the bare bones of this when you just when you get down to the facts of the matter that is exactly what you're doing you're pissed off that he gave support to a content creator years ago who then proved or showed to be a, an asshole you know what we all support con content creators until we see reason to not support a content creator in which case then we stop that happens that's all across the board you're going to find lots of people who supported lots of people who they probably shouldn't have but they stopped once they learned this okay so stop Stop trying to point out that Steve once supported this channel, once supported this guy who turned out to, who ended up kicking his kid or something years later. Enough. That's petty high school shit. You're using petty, stupid high school arguments to justify your vitriolic attacks against this man for years. Years. That is so fucked up. I don't care. You can hate him. You can dislike him. You can take issue with him. But you're throwing, your problem is that you just don't like him, but you really want him to suffer for it. That's bullshit, okay? You want to come at him for shit that he did today or does today? Hey, I get that. Okay, fine. 
But these are bullshit reasons from years ago. Enough. That's my whole point. And I'm, God damn it, I'm going to say this. If, if everyone suddenly turned tomorrow and started doing this to Katie, I'd be sitting here saying the same fucking shit in defense of Katie. And I say things in defense of Katie all the time when things cross my comfort zone, okay? When they go too far for my comfort, okay? I say it all the time. And I will continue to do it regardless of who it's for. But God damn it, I'm always sticking up for Steve here or taking up for Steve here, as you, as you like to say. Because it's all you fucking people do and the only person you do it to you don't see this the fact that you just can't even see this unhealthy obsession with your hate for him is it's really just very dis discouraging because why am I wasting my time I feel like because you you're just never gonna get it but you should know what I'm saying is shared by anyone who sees this I, I don't know what to say. Just, uh, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm done. Where's my outro?